is Bhavani from SRM Delhi College, lecturer in the Department of Physiology. So today we are going to see about ECG. So first we can have a look about what is ECG. So ECG is an electrocardiogram. Okay, it is an instrument which is used to record the muscle activity. Okay, so ECG it is a graph which is going to be created with the help of an electrocardiogram with an instrument. Okay. So where it has two kinds of leads, the unipolar leads and bipolar leads. So with the help of these leads, this is going to pick up the muscle activity, okay, which is going to be recorded in the with the help of the machine in a graph sheet. So this we call it as your ECG. So one of the waves it is going to be recorded is P wave, QRS complex, T wave. So based on these waves, okay, so we are going to conclude that what kind of muscle activity is going to happen. So here the based on your muscle activity, the muscle activity is going to be recorded with the help of an action potential created in the cardiac muscle. So the first P wave, okay, so the why the P wave occur is because of your atrial depolarization. So here this is going to be recorded in 0.1 seconds. Next is QRS complex, okay, so as we see the P wave, P wave is a small positive wave. So again the next QRS complex, the Q is a small negative wave and a R is a sharp positive wave and S is a again a small negative wave. So this is going to occur with the help of your ventricular depolarization. So here you can see the P wave is an atrial depolarization. The atrial repolarization has been not occurred. So continuing with an ventricular depolarization. Why? Because the atrial repolarization is going to be merged with your ventricular depolarization as it has a QRS complex. So immediately the frequency is going to be recorded. So this is going to be recorded in 0 0.8 to 1 seconds. Next is T wave. It is a ventricular repolarization. This is going to occur due to 0 0.2 seconds. So next is a PR interval. So what is PR interval? It is an the wave starts from the P wave till the wave ends till your R wave. We call it as your PR interval. This occurs due to AV conduction. That is the atrioventricular conduction based on this conduction this pr interval it is going to be calculated so which is going to occur in 0 0.12 seconds to 0 0.2 seconds so next is qt interval so qt interval it is going to occur with a when during your ventricular depolarization as we know the qrs complex is being occurred with the help of your ventricular depolarization so here the qt interval it is going to occur so from the wave q wave till your t wave as your qrs complex with, has merged with your ventricular depolarization and a T wave is a ventricular repolarization. The combination of these two we call it as your QT interval which is 0 0.4 to 0 0.42 seconds. Next is ST segment. So the wave from S till your T which we call it as your ST segment. So which is 0 0.08 seconds. Why we call it as ST segment because it is a short interval. So which we call it as your segment, a small segment. So next is RR interval which is 0 0.8 seconds. This denotes the duration of one cardiac cycle. So the uh, full cardiac cycle, uh, so cardiac cycle is a cyclic event which is going to take place at an atrial and your ventricular diastole and your systole formation. This we call it as your RR interval. So the wave starting from R till the wave of your next R we call it as your RR interval. So this is a graphical representation of the ECG. So where you can find the P wave, a small positive wave and a Q is a small negative wave and a R sharp positive wave and then again an S a sharp negative wave and it continues as a T wave and a small U wave. So this waves will be continued. So next we can see about your PR intervals. The PR interval is starting from the P wave till your R wave. Next is PT, ST segment, the starting from an S till your T we call it as an ST segment, RR interval is a cardiac cycle, one cardiac cycle we call it as RR interval. Next is TP segment from your T till the P wave starts we call it as TP segment, then QT interval from Q till your T we call it as your QT interval, J point okay, so the end of your S, the starting of your, the end of your S we call it as your J point. So I said right first, so based on your leads only, D's is going to pick up the waves. So as we seen already, okay, the bipolar limb leads, okay, we have a bipolar limb leads. Based on this bipolar limb leads, it is going to pick up the surface view of your system. So where a bipolar lead, a clamp-like structure or a clip-like structure is going to be 
fix on our right arm then your left arm then in your left leg so where the right arm and left arm we call it as lead one then right arm and your left leg we call it as your lead two and left arm and your left leg we call it as your so these bipolar leads they are going to fix your surface view so this we call it as your bipolar limb leads so next is your unipolar leads okay bipolar and unipolar leads bipolar they are going to pick up two leads they are going to combine together to pick up your uh, information next is unipolar the singly they will take up the impulses so bipolar leads are lead 1 lead 2 and lead 3 which is between left uh, right arm and your left arm then between lead 2 is left between your right arm and left leg then lead 3 is between left arm and left leg so next is unipolar leads so these leads okay they are going to pick up your information so which we call it as your avr then avl and your avf so unipolar chest leads you have limb, limb leads and chest leads we have chest leads are v1 to v6 so these are your leads the 12 lead consists of three strand limb on bipolar leads 1 2 and 3 utilize three electrodes these leads form a triangular known as enthoven triangle so why we call it as enthoven triangle because enthoven the scientist named enthoven he has found out this so that's why we name them as your enthoven triangle as it looks like a triangle inverted triangle we call them as your triangle so next is three augmented unipolar leads which we call it as your avr avl and avf okay so this is going to be fixed up at your right arm right uh, the left arm then your center portion okay avf it is going to be placed next is six precordial unipolar leads this is going to be placed above our chest region so above our sternal angle above our chest region this v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 and your v6 it is going to be placed so this is your augmented unipolar leads okay so potential difference between an exploring electrode positive and the indifferent electrode zero if the depolarization wave is toward the positive electrode and upward deflections will be present so these are your leads which is going to be placed so next is the chest leads okay so the chest leads are v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 so v1 over your fourth intercostal space near our right sternal margin then v2 is over your fourth intercostal space near your left sternal margin so straight to your left and right the v1 and v2 will be placed so over your fourth intercostal space so intercostal space is nothing but between the ribs we call it as your intercostal space next is v3 in between your v2 and v4 so the leads between v2 and v4 we place your v3 so v4 is your fifth intercostal space on your mid clavicular line so that is your mid clavicular so based on your clavicle the mid line we call it as your mid clavicular line so on that particular point on your fifth intercostal space this lead will be placed next is v5 over the your lift fifth intercostal space on your anterior axillary line next is v6 over your left fifth intercostal space on your mid axillary line your v6 will be placed so these are the legs which is going to be placed on your above your chest region so v1 fourth intercostal space on your right hand side then left hand side v2 so between your v2 and v4 we place your v3 so v4 is your mid clavicular line then v5 is your mid axillary line so next is your ecg electrode a typical surface electrode used for ecg recording is made up of ag and agcl as shown on your right figure okay so in the diagram you can find them so augmented limb leads limb leads bipolar chest leads are unipolar and then augmented limb leads also unipolar so these are your leads which is going to be placed so this is your disposable electrodes are attached to the patient skin and can be easily removed okay so that's all about your ecg thank you